Hello everyone, praise the Lord. Very good morning. I'm happy that God has brought us together to meditate this God today. Hello everyone, praise the Lord. Very good morning. I'm happy that God has brought us together to meditate His word. May God speak to us even today as you meditate His wonderful word. Surely God will speak to us. Today's meditation is from, I'm sorry, book, the book of Acts chapter 28 verse 5. But Paul shook, shook the snake off into the fire and suffered no ill effects. So, Apostle Paul was... Um, was there with them in the in the in the uh, island of Malta and the people prepared a fire for them because they are all wet because of the rain and the storm and as they have prepared the fire Apostle Paul helped them to carry the woods and he as he put the woods in the fire there was a snake inside the woods and it, it bit him it was hanging in his hand he shook it off into the fire and the snake died in fact but they expected they said that oh this man is a murderer because even uh, when he escaped the shipwreck the god of justice has not left him see he is going to die because this because of this snake bite but bible says he he suffered no ill effects i have seen so many people say in, in especially in the in the region of if africa and and so on if you see so many people take this verse i have seen a few people in, in in india they take this verse and they make the snake bite them because bible says you will take the snakes and scorpions in your hand so they, they 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 take the snake and they make it bite bite and they say that oh we are not going to die bible doesn't say that apostle paul was gathering the woods and he saw a snake going there and he called out oh everybody oh come over come over i am going to show you that i am a man of god i am going to show you today that even this snake cannot bite me and kill me see and he showed them that the snake is biting him no it was it happened by accident unexpected effect <clears throat> disaster so god saved him God has promised him or told him, you are going to testify me in Rome. So God has a purpose to do in his life in the midst of this fulfillment. There is a problem that is coming on the way. So God saved him. My dear brothers and sisters, it doesn't mean that you and I can, can be saved whenever we, have, we are bitten by the snake. And also, we can be saved when we purposefully make a, make a snake to bite us. It is a foolishness, I will say. Bible says <clears throat> for Apostle, Apostle Paul, when he went to uh, gather the wood by accident, it bit him, so God saved him. So it, it, it tells us that wherever there is a purpose that God has for us to fulfill, he will help us to go there. He will guard us. It doesn't mean that we can go and let the snake bite and we will be escaped. It is foolishness. Amen.